Oh, he's late. Look at us! High five! We're early. Would you ever think of that on a Wednesday? I hurt his hand. <laughs> so welcome Muscles. to Philly Philly. This is our Wednesday stream and it is hump day and we're early and we have music. Like I that's about, I think we should just stop. No drinks. See. We're done. I we're think out. I think it's good. We're out. Drop the mic. So Although next time there won't music. So, the is the music too loud? No, it isn't. I'm you sure? I'm positive. Thank you. So, welcome to our stream. If you've never joined us on a Wednesday night, this month is going to be mixed up a lot. But tonight, it's going to be a cocktail. And this is probably one of the easiest cocktails you can make. It is. It's like, pretty simple. It's easy. You don't need a shaker. You don't need um, to stir it before you put it in your glass. You don't need to strain anything. It's about as easy as it gets. So it's a 20 second drink. It's a 20 second drink. But what happened was, do you remember, I think we were going over to my sister's house and, and maybe it was even Thanksgiving. This was before the pandemic. So it was, it was at least a few years ago. Like I don't think it was maybe five years ago or so. <laughs> And she was like, oh, there's this drink and let me make it for you. And because it involved apple cider and vodka. And we're like, well, sure. <laughs> and anyways, it was really good. So I give all credit to this drink to my sister. I'm not saying she's the one who originated it, but they're, you know, I'm not going to break any copyright rules. But um, it's been in our family because of her putting it together. Um, and really, it's vodka, apple cider. The original one is vodka, apple cider, and lime. Because you need the lime to to kind of balance the sweetness yeah, of the cider. Because obviously the vodka does a little bit of that right. in there. Um, but the, but lime, you need the lime, yeah, the yeah, lime really helps. So, so what was that? I'm trying I don't to remember. Know. I remember going, going over her house, and she's like, "Try this." And I said, it was years "Sure." Ago, right? it, I think it was at least five years ago. Oh, I think it was more than that. So the thing is, is that you can um, you can do lime or you could do lemon. Like we've always done lime, but really you just need that you need that citrus to kind of cut the cider. But I think lime's better. Right, but I do think if you're if you're like, well, I can't make it because Billy Billy said I don't have lime and I've got lemon. Do the lemon. The lemon, I bet you would be fine. And you know, our son actually came up with a little twist on it. I'm very sad. Because I thought we had this little mini bottle of Fireball because our son took our bottle of Fireball. Um, and this is a story actually that goes back to my hubs liking to buy those these big vats of liquor because they're so much cheaper. Or no, they're usually a couple dollars more than like half this size. Maybe not half the size, a little less, a little, a little less than half the size. So he gets these big old things. And so we sent him to go get Fireball. And I can't remember why. Oh, I know, because I was doing this Fireball Rum Chata thing. Remember that? I do. It's called um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. By the way, that's really good. Um, and so I'm that. like, we need some Fireball. So he comes home with a jug, with a jug of Fireball. Like uh, fireball. Yeah. I'm just it's saying. It's not like we drank fireball or like it's, I'm not opposed to it. You can it, always do shots but, of fireball. Uh, but a jug? But there's, no. there's so, a physical reason that you do that. Yeah. That 1. was 1.75 as opposed to 750. And big mistake. I catch massive Oh my gosh. Of that was his biggest vodka. error with his big vats of liquor that he. So. And, so just a thought though, we did drink that, right? Or, oh, or so, Matt did. so when we, we got did. it, it was before date, I think it was before Matt went to college or right around when he was going to college. So lo and behold, Matt developed a, a like of, of really anything but Fireball. And so we find they're like, would you like the, because I think we got maybe, I don't know, a third into it. And we're like, would you like Fireball? And he's like, sure. Which we, we were looking. Any college student we're, would say. Doing Google searches for like drinks with Fireball and yeah. yeah just and I mean, I workout. you know, I, I love hot cinnamon, so I'm not opposed to that. And actually, on Twitter, there was someone that told me another one, and I'm forgetting the name. 
Um, it's like a hot cinnamon one, but he said he feels like it's better than Fireball. Oh, really? And I, I have to go look it up because okay. I thought, ooh, that, but we were not getting a big so old thing. So I could thing. Get by a big fat No, guy. no, that would be a mistake. So if you are joining us, please say hello in the chat. We'd love to know who is popping on. Um, so our son though, Matt actually <laughs> said, well, it's apples. Let's put some hot cinnamon in there. Yeah, and cinnamon. that worked also. So there's lots of different variations on this. And so I love that about drinks. So just kind of have fun, make it your own. Yep. And I also feel like you could lighten it up adding some club soda. You could add some Prosecco, you know, a little sparkling wine in a, in a cocktail is never a bad thing. So there's lots of different things you could do to kind of, um, I don't know, lighten it up a little bit. But honestly, the go-to in the fall, like we get so excited when fall comes, we're like, oh, are we gonna get apple cider? Because when we get apple cider, we're like, we're gonna make the fall, the cocktail. So when we were, when we were thinking of doing this on the stream, I felt like I had to have a name. And so I just came up with the spiked apple. Oh, so I, know it's, I know it's really original, but, but so, I feel like it had to have a name. So do you know where cider was orig originated from? I do not. There was evidence that the Celts in Britain made cider from crab apples as long as, 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 long ago as 3000 BCE. And I bet you they though also maybe developed the hard cider, which is really good, you know, if you get, or sparkling yeah. cider. Um, that's interesting. I did not know that. Interesting. So let's get to the drink. Um, so now take notes, because this is going to be a tough <laughs> one. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add some ice to your glass. And now this is the glass of my choice when having this cocktail. As you can imagine, Hubs likes likes the big tumbler, but um, I like a nice, tidy little little amount. She asked um, me to be nice tonight. And <laughs> she's... No, it's fine. He just likes it the way you like it, and I like it the way I like it. So then we're gonna be putting. So now this is where again you can get flexible. We put actually, to be honest, we don't measure. We just pour. But when I I did a little trick to see like how much that would be. And so, and I would imagine he pours more, but I would say generally two ounces of vodka for this. But if you think it's too strong, scale back to one ounce. Like it's really do it how you like it. So two ounces, and I'm going to not spill. So I'm gonna do them like this, which do two at a time. You definitely need something to cut the cider. So you have your two ounces of, of vodka. We'll just leave it right there. Whoopsie. You're not gonna let me. No, adjust no, it. you're gonna, you're gonna, you can adjust it later. Make sure your cider is shaken. Now, honestly, I would not measure out. I put on the, because down in the description to below, I put all of these measurements and all that. But I think you could just pour and eyeball it. Um, so here, uh, we just fill up the rest of the way. So it's two to three ounces of cider. It's okay. well done. And then the do not stop there because I really think what makes this drink more balanced is a good squeeze of lime. So I, I suggest, and this was again based on my sister because she said a good squeeze. And so not a little wedgie. Nope. You want a quarter of a lime. A wedgie. No little wedgies. Nope. Quarter of a lime. So squeeze it. A full oh, on will wedge. You, will you get um, a little spoon, please? <laughs> yes. Thank you. And then just mix. What about those little... Uh... Right. So honestly, this is all we do. Like we're, we're not fancy in this house. But if I was doing it for guests and it was a Thanksgiving or a fall party, because this is what we usually have available at Thanksgiving, um, it's just easy and the kids like it and they know it. Um, but you could put an apple slice here. Like that would look beautiful. You could also put, I do have, because I, I keep these in the pantry, um, a little cinnamon stick. Like that would be lovely hmm. as well. And that would only add flavor. So you could totally... You could totally make Did you mix it if you want it. Not yet. This one doesn't see. So like that looks kind of nice and kind of yeah. cool. Not only that, but you also get the, the aroma of the cinnamon, which is nice. Yeah, it's a good idea. Actually, I'm going to do this one. It's just easier. So I probably should stir it before I put them in, but that was what you were trying to say, right? Oh, good. Good shot there, bud. 
And then you just stir. Look, oh, I'm losing ice cube. <laughs> oh, you're popping that one back in? Yeah. That, that, that is that all she wrote. Literally all she wrote. So let's let's give her a taste. Cheers. Cheers. It just doesn't suck. It's good. It is good. Straight. And it's just easy refreshing. It's easy to drink. Yeah. I wanna Oh wait, is your yours is showing better. I'm gonna show yours. I'm easy showier. to drink. It's showier. See the little the lime. I mean, you could get fancy and you could like rim it with some cinnamon sugar and all no. that, but you don't need a sweetness. No, yeah, but some so, people like fancy. So you know what? You know what's these but are the great lime for. is what comes through because you. So we we do these um, when everybody's ever for Thanksgiving. We'll have yeah. We'll have these and and there's a fair amount of Tito's and cider that goes. Yeah, on. and people like them. They're just they're just easy to drink and people can make their own and they can. Right. They can put like the balance that works for them. And I think yep. that's what the beauty, sometimes the beauty of these simple recipes that you could make for your guests, but especially when it's family, that they, you can just say, hey, this is generally what we're gonna do, but you, if you like less vodka, then put less vodka. Yep. Um, but it really, it's just balanced. It's nice and it's very folly. But the generally. lime, the lime is Oh, the lime is, is you, key. yeah. So. I mean, it, it's it's great if you have it just with the with cider and the vodka, but it's much better with the lime. I don't think it would actually. I don't think I would it's like sweet. it as much. I think it would just be really sweet. Yeah, it's the very lime, sweet. just like in any other cocktail, you need that acidic to balance um, some of your other, especially if you have sweet sweetness in the the sweet flavors. So the lime is vital. And again, if you don't have a lime, you know, go for a lemon. But the lime is just something. There's something, yeah, about, something the about the lime. I don't I would, know. I would strongly suggest the yeah, lime. Yeah, I don't know what that. it is. But lemon. by the way, you realize this is the last, this is like the only cocktail strain this month. Did you know that? I did not. Because the rest of the Wednesdays, we have other things going on. No, Now, like I what? did, well, today when we were having dinner, we realized that something from September got uh, rescheduled for next Wednesday that we have to go, not have to go, I mean, we're looking forward to going to, it's a little event. Oh, yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I can't, yeah, so I can't do what I was going to do on Wednesday, Wednesday. So I will, so again, to find out all the latest and greatest, make sure you follow me in Philly Philly Live because I will be sharing the change. It's either going to be on Tuesday or Thursday. I got to check with you actually it after this um, to find out. So, but next week I'm doing my first air fry um, wings Wednesday. I'm going to do... be here on Wednesday, I thought. I know. Oh. I just, I just. I'm sorry. I just said that. So it'll be air fry wings Tuesday or Thursday. So oh, it will be different. But I picked Wednesday. I mean, I thought wings Wednesday. I you know I like I like a cute little title. I think that's fun. So um, I think you think it's less fun, <laughs> but I like it. So it won't be on a Wednesday, but next week I will be doing my first air fry wings. And Good. there's this uh, guy I've been following on YouTube that has like hashed out all the air fry techniques for wings. So he's the one I've been following and I'm going to be um, trying it his way. And I'm very excited. What kind of wings? Oh, it's gonna, just gonna be buffalo. Like we're gonna, we're gonna start just purist. Wings. And then after that, each month in the winter, and I don't know, maybe we'll do it all year. I mean, not all year, but like all 12 months because the year ends soon. But throughout the winter, definitely, I'm going to each one Wednesday a month have Wings Wednesday air fry. And it's all going to be air fry because really, and I just watched another video of his uh, this week. And he was talking about like his, the top things to air fry that, I mean, this is a really good cook that does, has been, do, had just, cr just crushes YouTube. And, and he was talking about like the top things that he uses an air fryer for. One of them is wings. He's like, you cannot beat the crisp. I mean, and fried wings, of course, are good, but to save on the, the extra fat and yeah. you still get a great crisp. So I'm so excited now that we have our new air fryer because that one will work better. Because my other, our other one was more like a, just a smaller connection. Of so it, we so. gave it to our to son. son. Yeah. yeah. So that's next Wednesday. Yes, and then um, another Wednesday is going to be a, I think the following one is a food review, a takeout, uh, try or buy. And then the you know where? Pizza Plus. Because it's yeah, just yeah. last month. So be, I think that's the following week. Okay. And that'll be on a Wednesday. And then 
Um, the next one is going to be weekday Wednesday, weekday dinner. So I'm going to do a like live, obviously live, but <laughs> but it's going to be like he's going to be coming home, or if he's not, then it'll just be me. But like I'm making dinner and going to eat it. So I mean, I won't be eating the whole dinner on, on the street, of course. Um, but like it's going to be for real. Like mostly, you come home um, <clears throat> on Wednesdays, like unless you have like a, a work thing. But typically, so um, anyways, so it's going to be, be the last Wednesday of the month. Okay. So, um, so if you're not, that's okay, because I could just, or I can invite Maddie over. You should be, um, I'm grouchy when I come home from work. But. That's okay. You'll get to see the grouch. You'll get to see the grouch. So, so yeah, so I'm mixing it up. So from now on in the winter, I'm going to be switching up my Wednesdays because I kind of want to see what you think. So let me know what you think of the new, um, the new layout, like only having cocktails once a month. And um, not that we only have cocktails once a month, I just want to make that clear, but only having a cocktail stream once a month and then having a takeout stream once, um, a wings stream once on a Wednesday and then a weekday dinner, like real, like, like given for this real. Thought. I know, oh, I always give it thought. Yeah. I that, always give it thought. That I know. But I want to know what you think. So please let me know down below your thoughts on the schedule change up, what you like, what you don't, what you suggest. I read all the comments. Um, I do really, you know, I look at the live stream as something I'm passionate about, but also in service to people that um, enjoy watching. So it's important for me to know what you think. So cheers to you, the most important. Um, very exciting cheers. week for me. I broke 100. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, broke 100 subscribers. But if you're new watching this, please subscribe because my next big one is I really want to get to 500. It's a million. No, I want to get to 500 because then I get to have a community tab. So. Oh. So if you um, already watch, please share, please like spread the word for other foodies, cooks, home cooks, um, just crazy people that might be interested in watching what we do. But I, uh, but please, please spread the word because I really would like to have a community tab. Do we because I think really that want cool. crazy people? Why are we all a little crazy? Yeah, a little crazy. Okay. Yeah. But enjoy the rest of your week. And cheers to you. Cheers. And let cheers. us know what you think if you try it. And thank you for watching. And let me know what your favorite fall drink is. That's another good thing for you to let us know. Thank you so much. Mm. And yay the music. It so works. exciting. It works. It is. Let's see. Good night, everybody.